AMD finally reveals the performance of the upcoming Ryzen 7800X 3D, which is perhaps the most talked about gaming CPU in the last few months. While AMD did share a slide last month which compared the 7800X 3D with 3900K, the games were cherry-picked that favored the 3D CPUs more than the regular ones. However, this time AMD has sent a slide as a part of review kit that compares the two CPUs in several games. So let's take a look at the latest benchmarks of this CPU. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new here and turn on the notifications so that you never miss regular stories like this. According to AMD's benchmarks, the Ryzen 7800X 3D can outperform the 3900K in several titles by up to 31%, while in some titles the chip competes head to head with the Intel CPU but also loses in some games like CSGO and Ashes of the Singularity. Overall, the 7800X 3D comes out to be around 7% faster on an average, which is although not too good but still lands the 7800X 3D at the top of the chart for being the fastest gaming chip for $450. When we compare it with the scores of 7950X 3D, it ties with the latter, which means that those who are looking for well-priced chip should not go with the 7950X 3D, but should instead choose the 7800X 3D which is $250 cheaper. On the other hand, the i9-13900K also provides great value. It is the closest to the 7800X 3D in gaming but can easily outperform it in professional applications whether you want faster rendering, compilation or compression. All this for just $50 more than the official pricing of 7800X 3D as the CPU has dropped significantly in its price since its official launch and now it is down from $600 all the way to $500 US dollars. So personally, if I were to choose between the two, just on a performance basis, I would go for the 13900K because it brings more cores and threads to the table and will easily compete in gaming while outperforming the 7800X 3D with its monstrous multi-thread performance. Nonetheless, the 13900K does come with its own disadvantages like high power consumption that can go up to 300 watts, which might not be ideal for many users. But in gaming, it is quite fair in power consumption and hardly goes above 120 watts. Taking all these factors into consideration, I can clearly see that AMD should drop the price of 7800X 3D to $400 to make it a much more appealing and affordable option for enthusiast gamers. And talking about gaming, a leak just showed that the performance of the fastest AMD laptop GPU, the RX 7600M XT, is on par with Nvidia's RTX 4060. The original source of the leak is Bilibili.com, where a promotional video for MetaMac gaming laptop reveals the Time Spy score of 7600M XT. The GPU scores a good 10,451 points in the graphics score, which is equivalent to the Time Spy graphics score of the RTX 4060. Now if you have been wondering from where did we get the time spy score of the 4060 then let me remind you that this one is the laptop 4060 GPU and the desktop 4060 is supposedly as powerful as the laptop one. Coming back to the benchmarks, it shows an even more surprising benchmark where the 7600MXT is 12% faster than the 4060 in 3D Mark V Strike. This means that the 7600MXT is actually a very strong laptop GPU that can easily max out many games at both 1080p and 1440p resolutions with buttery smooth gameplay. Specs-wise, the card is pretty decent with 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM and 2048 stream processors. It is also power efficient at just 120 watts, which makes it as good as the laptop 4060 that is rated at 115 watts. And lastly, Microsoft releases a feature that could enhance gaming performance in DirectX 12 titles. Microsoft just released a new Agility version, 1.710.0 Preview which provides two new features to the developers. One is the non-normalized sampling and the other one is GPU upload heaps which is the most interesting part. What exactly it does that it allows the DirectX to expose the heap memory access directly to the CPU so that the CPU doesn't have to transfer the data between itself and the GPU repeatedly. This should reduce the reduction in CPU as well as the system RAM usage. For this feature to work, the users are required to have either NVIDIA's resizable bar or AMD's smart access memory feature enabled for their CPU and GPU. As both these technologies unlock a lot of bandwidth between the two components, Windows can now manage the GPU VRAM directly through this feature. This will also allow the CPU to work even faster as it now has a direct access to all the GPU VRAM which traditionally a CPU doesn't. This will result in performance boost in video games and as we have pretty quick GPU VRAM these days, it will have a positive effect on the latency as well. However, this feature won't be directly available to the users and developers have to implement it in games manually. So it will take some time before we can see this feature in action. 
The Agility SDK GPU Upload Heaps is already supported on latest NVIDIA and Intel GPU drivers, but developers using an AMD GPU will need to contact their AMD Alliance Manager and hopefully they will also get the fully supported GPU driver very soon. That's all for today and I want to know your thoughts about these stories in the comments. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more stories like this. Turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a new video and I will see you in the next one.